Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Joao. And I'm Irene of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Have you heard about the recent concerns about the Zika virus? Yes. Zika appeared last year in Brazil and spread to other countries in the region. This year, it could infect up to 3 or 4 million people in the Americas. Recent alarming evidence is linking Zika virus with Julian Barr syndrome, a disease where the immune system attacks our neurons. It is also linked to birth defects and poor pregnancy outcomes. The problem is that most cases are asymptomatic or have a mild clinical manifestation, like a rash, rash or malaise. So the patient might not even know they're infected. Other symptoms include fever, joint pain, or conjunctivitis. At initial presentation, it is difficult to distinguish it from chikungunya and dengue. And it does not help that all three of these viruses are spread by the same type of mosquitoes. Early identification and treatment are important for a better prognosis, especially for dengue, which can be life-threatening. Zika virus was first discovered in the late 1940s in Uganda. Since 2007, there have been periodic outbreaks in Micronesia, Polynesia, and now Brazil. Zika and chikungunya are both examples of newly emerging epidemics that are rapidly spreading through previously unexposed populations. Well, the good news is that we have an armamentarium of molecular and genomic tools available to understand, track, and combat these viruses. Importantly, we need efficient methods like qPCR or sequencing to distinguish between different viruses and also to track their spread. It is telling that this last reference is from PLOS, Neglected Tropical Diseases. In this age of high speed and travel, we neglect tropical diseases at our own peril. As a final thought, prevent mosquito bites when the warm weather comes, especially during the daytime when the Aedes mosquitoes are active. We would love to hear your thoughts about our show and topic you'd like us to discuss in the future. Subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on social media, hashtag Simon. Until next time, bye. Bye.